Hey folks, welcome to yet another video on TechWeb. In today's video, we're going to be speaking about a very well accepted growth principle called Arrgh. Don't look at me, I didn't create the framework. But anyways, let's look at every character in the framework in a little more detail. The first A here stands for acquisition, the second one stands for activation, R stands for retention, the second R stands for uh, referral, and the final R stands for revenue. Think of the entire thing as a funnel where you first acquire a user and you end up, end up making money off of that user. Let's look at each one of these in a little more detail. But to help us understand each of these better, I'm going to take an example of a food delivery service called Swiggy, who is, as, let's assume, who's currently running a referral program where if you recommend a friend to join their platform or app or a product, you and your friend both get some benefit with respect to the food that they deliver on the platform. So let's assume this is the scenario and let's look at each one of these in a little more detail. Let's start by acquisition, which is actually the start of the journey itself. Now, this is where the, your customers or your prospective customers first find you. This can either happen via referrals, reading your blogs, watching a video, downloading an app, or maybe even starting a free trial. Now, in, in the case of our example, because our friend recommended us using Swiggy, we started using Swiggy, and which is where Swiggy acquired us and the acquisition happened. Now that you have acquired the customer, the next goal is to activate them, and this is predominantly the most important step because this is where the first time user experience kicks in. The goal here is to achieve the aha moment for the customer itself. Let's take our example of Swiggy where Swiggy first acquired you. Now the goal of Swiggy is to ensure that you make the first order in order to activate you as a user. So they will give you heavy discounts to do your first order. And once you make your first order, you are activated in the eyes of Swiggy itself. This is where we come to the third stage of the journey, which is retention. Now you answer if the user is coming back. If he's not coming back, you need to check if there is something wrong during the activation itself. This can also happen if there are app crashes or website crashes, if there are better competitor products out there in the market. Um, let's take the example of Swiggy where you ordered during activation because you had great discounts, but you go back again and you see that the prices of food are very high. So you won't order again. So the product manager on Swiggy then needs to go back and check if the discounts given during activation are too high and probably needs to scale them down a little bit in order to kind of retain those customers in the future as well. So if you do the retention and activation correctly, then the next stage referral becomes a little more easy where you need to make your customers loyal towards the product and actual promoters of your product itself. Now in case of Swiggy, because I've had good experience using their product and I've been using it for a while, and there is an incentive for me to promote their product, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So just like my friend recommended me Swiggy uh, as an app because he received Crashback, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. Which brings me to the final leg of the journey itself, the revenue. Now this is where you typically answer, how do you make money out of these users who are now loyal and retained on your platform? This is where you need to do the planning and it is important to have product market fit with respect to price. So you need to be in the correct market and you need to price it correctly. Now in case of Swiggy, because I'm a loyal customer and I'm recommending my friends very constantly, Swiggy will earn commissions from me as a user and also the third party restaurants who are delivering food for them. So this is where the final R kicks in. And I think that's the Arrgh. framework for you. So if you like the video, go ahead and like, but do leave feedback about the video itself. I don't have a great setup, but I'd appreciate some feedback about the delivery and the content that I'm giving across. Uh, thanks so much and have a good one.